Inshallah from what we talked about in the last week and a half we're very deep subjects. Either people don't want to remind themselves of these subjects and would rather talk about stones and rocks and, and ridiculous things or focus on what's been talked about and that these are extremely dangerous times that opening. And people have to reflect on those, understand these analogies, understand that you know the importance of energy, the use of energy, how it's being used to destroy and how it can be used to save and for salvation inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah May Allah always bless you and give strength to make us learn all what you want us to learn. Sayyidi, mm -hmm. we recently saw in the news that this earthquake has made the land of Turkey move to Maghrib. What is the reality of this feature? Move to Maghrib? <laughs> it went all the way to Morocco? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know about that, what scientists are talking about but we already mentioned what Maghrib is. That uh, anyone turn on television and what we described, eastern countries they were the bedrock of religion and faith. They were the area in which taught humanity about the Divine. So now East represents what to people? 400 billion dollars for a ridiculous ball. Do you think any of them are going to send money now for Turkey? No, because the ball was more important than people's lives. But they're going to what send a million dollar check? They spent 400 billion dollars for a ball? They are the custodians of Islam? No, means the closet closed on their heads. They spend close to 500 million dollars just on Christmas that country, ridiculous people. So you take an ajr from what you see, there's no more Islam there, the world of Islam closed in that region. So then that is now opening and has opened on this side, on the western side, the western world. So through whatever Testing Allah going to begin to inflict upon the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. West, they're going to come to Islam, nothing will be left in the West but Islam. So it means that we see it. If anyone can't see it, turn on the TV. The Eastern countries are now promoting materialism, pursuit of money, gold, extravagance, just uh, nothing to do with heavens, nothing to do with spirituality, nothing to do with realities. Means they lost their title and that the earth shifted its polarity. So Allah's tajalli of guidance now is on the west and that's why you're seeing now this region carrying these laws. <clears throat> these regions paying for people, taking care of women and children, taking care of the weak and the poor, biting by codes and rules and, and, and laws. So there's a huge sign of what's happening for people who have eyes to see. People in the East I'm sure they don't think that, they think their area is fantastic. Said, so what if we spend 400 billion dollars on a ball? We'll go for Jummah, <laughs> it's not 
faith. So that's the signs, everyone who can see the signs but they're seeing it more like it's entertainment and this was amazing, oh my gosh you don't know what it was. I said, no but these were big signs that they do like this and this is not Islam. So it's a sign that they left it, they don't, they don't have any understanding nor appreciation for it. And then now that shift will come into other regions and those whom Allah wound they'll be guided and that their souls are ishraqiyoon, that they are the, the clear palette of realities, that these haqqaiqs taught to them and they absorb them. And they don't have a, a buffer of something coming and saying, no it's not that, no it's not that. And so they're being painted by realities. And the exact reason why Allah sent these shaykhs to rise from the west is to keep them out of the hands of the people of the east because the people of the east want to destroy them, stop them because they don't understand them. That for that very reason they're put into the west. Otherwise where in the east could this type of knowledge go on a khutbah and talk? Everybody in the first row will grab the person and bring them down. Because the people of Maghrib now they don't understand these realities, they don't talk like this, they just go for Jummah and go home. So that's the reason why Allah has transplanted from their generations and their lineage that they come as rooted trees with significant lineages to the heart of Prophet and they're placed in the west like Moses being raised in Pharaoh's territories. So this is a, a big sign for people whom have hearts to understand and through their spiritual eyes they see. So these are all of what's happening now on dunya, inshaAllah. <clears throat> Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah uh, Sayyidi, your presence and your way of teaching is unlike any other. You are beaming with light. Thank you so much Sayyidi. I grew up in a Christian household but it was always missing something. Then my own journey for truth in this world, I was led here. Now I am fulfilled. Every time I listen to your teachings, I know I'm on the right path. May your blessings never stop flowing to you and your loved ones. Thank you so much. Thank you, Allah bless you, alhamdulillah. <clears throat> this is the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad and the holy companions, Ahlul Bayt and awliyaullah fi samai wa fil ard. That Allah's love emanating from this region on these tongues, the English tongue, <clears throat> and the western regions to send out a guidance for whom Allah is going to guide. We described last night that if people understand who will be following Sayyidina Mahdi <clears throat> the majority of who. So you know people in, in other faiths they're expecting an awakening, they're expecting a rising, a light and a guidance. And again in the Muslim world they don't know what you're talking about. They, they're expecting like it's going to be a fight somewhere and that a physical person coming to do physical fighting and all, all sorts of things and if you talk spiritual though, no, 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 it's not, it's not like this, it's not like that. So it means that and we deal with them for 30 years people, we see who comes to the door of the centers, we see who comes online and what they say and, and, and the character and the demeanor. So it means we have really no understanding whom Allah is guiding in the last days. But we know that from the English language and Western region, isharats and lights will be coming out and Allah has placed them for their safety in the West. For had they been and if they move into the East they'll be shut down in a second. So that they can too also be put into the Maghrib and the setting of the sun. So when the sun sets means what? It casts people into darkness. When you were a region and you held the owner 
of the rising of the sun means that you were the source of guidance in the east. When you set you're not the source of guidance anymore, means it's just the source of darkness. So then in all their countries corrupt, all their people corrupt, all their people killing each other for water and power in other countries that have the immense love, what they're doing? Killing each other for control of water and power, giving some people water, giving other people no water. So this is not the world of Islam, this is not even anything to do with Islam. So means then you see them that as maqrib, that the sun has set on them and they're now in a zulm and a darkness. Darkness in Arabic is called zulm, oppression, oppression. So if you're not in the light then you're under oppression. So this is an immense reality. Those whom in the West Allah dress and bless them and their responsibility is to propagate knowledges. So that those whom are in the East and want to learn and being stopped from learning from other sources and, 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 and people of, of the zulamat and putting oppression upon them, then they have the ability until the internet goes down. So many people in the East are reading these teachings, this way, this understanding. And they're saying, we can't find this anywhere, nor can we talk about it, we'll probably be beaten or stoned in our countries. So because of a zulamat and oppression is being put upon them, knowledge is power, knowledge is light, love is a freedom. So when you propagate these realities, they're like uh, birds that have been imprisoned. Their souls feel like they're flying, that they're enlightened, they have energies. From just understanding a little bit then awliya will begin to come and give tarbiyah in their dreams and in their sleep. So it means guidance is flowing. So inshaAllah give more and more understanding for people and the reality and the times that we live in. If people understand the time they live in and they understand the holy hadith then they should understand what the ishraqiyoon are and where they are, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah What are the manners and ways to tap into the angelic energy from the shaykh's energy, power connection and golden chain during meditation? Forgive our bad adab. You have to buy three of the meditation books, okay, that's the whole meditation book. And then we have the, the book on energy, so you buy first the meditation book, the timeless reality because it's an encyclopedia, this is a, a shaykh with a course. So our course study and any of the students should have the books. If they consider themselves a student they should have the books otherwise how are you accompanying a teacher and he has a specific curriculum. If anyone looks at our YouTube you should know I have a very specific curriculum. It's these subjects and these books are these subjects. So to you know appear inside the class and, and all of a sudden ask, you know, can you please explain energy to me? You have, you have to go and get the books, start studying the, the program, start watching the videos and you know binge watch them, watch two, three videos a day and bring yourself up to speed on energy, meditation, tafakkur, contemplation. You get the meditation book, you get the angelic energy book, the realities of hajj book, reality of the heart book, a reality of inside the heart book which is Surah Yaseen, all of that is the curriculum. And the new book coming out on the six powers of the heart and how to activate six powers of the heart. But that won't make sense to you if you don't know how to make tafakkur. So at that time you're going to say, Shaykh, oh, how am I going to activate my, uh, my uh, tawassul and my conveyance? But you're not until you've mastered the meditation and the tafakkur in which you burned away yourself and you allowed the light of guidance to begin to enter into the soul and into the heart. When you substitute yourself away 
and allow their satellite and reflection to begin to beam the Muhammadan light within the wujud and the personality. That's what's needed to make a change in somebody. So there's no energy that somebody has, there's no angels that they can, they can communicate with because it's not your frequency. So when you have to give your frequency up for the Muhammadan frequency, that's through the meditation in which you negate yourself and then they visualize the shaykh who is like a satellite dish reflecting the Muhammadan light. So in they have a box, when they want to watch Apple TV they have to get the Apple box. Why? Because it has all of the encrypted codes for Apple TV for you. They don't just offer it all over the internet. So it means that the shaykh is like the Apple box for you, that if you want the Muhammadan connection then you get the shaykh. When you get the shaykh and subscribe means you've been the practices, you connect your heart, what happens? You're now coming through these available channels, it's like you have a subscription with him. And through your subscription you can log on to that Muhammadan channel. So all of what we have of technology people should be able to quickly understand these analogies. Why they don't is beyond me that you have to go and subscribe to, to get to a television show. So you don't think you have to have a subscription to get to the heart of Prophet and not a paid subscription but means you have to have a shaykh, you have to have a connection, you have to have a loyalty, you have to learn on how to log into his heart because he's beaming a Muhammadan channel for you. So how do you log on to his heart and how do you connect into his heart? And as a result that conveyance begins to come, the channel begins to flow and all the uloom and the knowledges for the channel are flowing and it's encrypted. Why? Otherwise shaitan would take the channel too and try to learn. But they're not, they're, they're highly encrypted. So as we get closer into these technologies we're starting to understand the keys and that you have to have cold storage and anything on a, on a net. On a network anyone can hack it. So yeah people think, oh I'll get the book and I'll learn everything. No, the shaykh is a cold storage, you have to meditate. The book will give you some understandings but it will not come until it's unlocked within the heart of the student. Even the Qur'an we described before and they released the video this week of, of that reality. The people think that, I'll just get the Qur'an and learn everything. What are you talking about? The Qur'an is more powerful than your phone. Your phone looks at your eye and says, hey this is not you, we're not opening, right? You give your phone to your friend and say, open my phone, and say, you can't, your eye has to be identified. You don't think the Qur'an is far beyond even their understanding? That the Qur'an looks at your face and says, for you you get page one, barely understanding. You think it's just giving its secrets out? No, it reads your face and exactly who you are and what your level of ishq and love for Prophet or you're just an intelligence officer trying to figure out Islam or you're a, a language scholar just trying to understand Arabic. It reads you and as a result it gives you the level of information that Allah wants you to understand. It's a locked and encrypted book because it's from heavens this is as well as the heart of awliya and the uloom and the knowledges of awliya that they look like they're being displayed for the public but it's encrypted because you can have friends that, hey read this three pages of this book or read this, it's so encrypted that they fall asleep within two or three pages because they can't understand it, they don't even make any sense of it, it's locked to them and it's locked to their hearts. So it means that these knowledges they read you, they look in your face and your eyes and they see the light of who you are and what Allah has destined for you and as a result based on that encryption those knowledges are coming. So everything, everything from technology shows us a very deep reality of these haqqaiqs.
So we have to understand and continuously make the, the simulation and the understanding. That's why these technologies are there for us to understand Allah's technologies inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Ya Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Please forgive my ignorance. What is the reality of shortness of breath when with an energy shift in the home or weather even with doing the practices? Shortness of breath is shortness of breath. That maybe the heart is contracting and the energy is too heavy and you can't catch your breath. Nothing that uh, can be done, you try to breathe through it and just be patient. If the energy is coming heavy or some sort of an energy is attacking then you just have to breathe through it and keep with your madad and, and uh, salawats on Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, the talk of creating a digital twin for every person, soul is heating up. Can you please explain this from a Muhammadan perspective? The digital twin? I think the understanding is not that it's a digital twin but our light reality has many different realities. That your wave reality, if one should achieve their wave and see their reality, the wave has infinite manifestations. So Sayyidina Abu Yazid al-Bistami Qaddasullah Siru told one student that, I prayed Jummah in 24,000 locations last Friday and only now scientists will understand that one whom would be in control if possible they think, if possible that you have wave realities in many dimensions. Forget about just this earth, they can't understand the dimensions. And we said dimensions are like pages and sheets, that their energy is going into how many dimensions? So forget about that, that's complicated for people. But on this earth if you're operating with light, as much as you think that you could visualize yourself, I see myself now Medina, I see myself now at this maqam, I see myself with the shaykh, I see myself here, I see myself all these places. Imagine that level of imagination someone has and Allah makes it to be real in which their self will actually be in all these locations. Then what's difficult? For Allah to make that light manifest in that dimension, in that location, nothing. Right now some may experience it just through the ruhani, that they can sense themselves in many places. But if Allah open His permission, their light reality can manifest. As Sayyidina Abu Yazid al-Bistami was describing, he was praying. People were seeing a manifestation of himself in 12,000 locations because he was trying to teach them light. And this is the… now scientists know the wave reality because light has infinite amount of uh, locations. And we said before you get a box and put a very strong laser or light bulb on it and make a hole the light will go out and darken the room, it'll go out that one hole because it's looking for a place to go out. You make a thousand holes on the box then a thousand waves of light will come out from that box in a dark room. That means the one whom Allah gives control of their wave reality then can manifest in as many places as Allah wants them to manifest. So then in the last days if Allah opens that authority then their manifestation is many places at the same time. And that's why the fear the shaitan has is that these people will have the power of a thousand men and that's putting it very small because it's much more than a thousand men. 
because each of their forms have an immense power, immense spiritual power, immense spiritual ability and nothing can touch them because that's just a light being because you don't know where the reality of them is manifesting from. So as they plan, shaitan plans, Allah's plan is far more powerful. So one manifesting in 12,000, 4,000, 24,000 places is not touchable but is very powerful and is a very powerful force to be reckoned with. And nothing can touch them, nothing can harm them, nothing can do anything to them because it's just their light being. So these are the potentials that Allah has given, وَلَكَرْ كَرَمْنَا بَنِي Adam. If Sayyidina Abu Yazid al-Bistami was doing that for Jummah but in last days that's not needed for Jummah when Dajjal comes. They don't need to be 24,000 places for doing a Jummah but they need that to help people and to protect people and defend people. So that becomes a immense, immense but this is all through tafakkur and contemplation so that people understand who they are and where they get their power from and that they negate themselves and they connect to the heart and to the reality of the Muhammadan connection, inshaAllah. <coughs> Anybody has questions also? Email <clears throat> at helpme at nurmuhammad.com. Keep, keep your communication line always with helpme at nurmuhammad.com. The website articles at, at nurmuhammad.com. Take the articles, post them. The articles from all the talks, they're not the same as, oh, I heard this talk. No, the article is far more academic and deeper. Because they quote the Qur'an, they quote the hadith because we just briefly talk, they go back and put the Ayatul Kareem and the holy hadith and has all of its references and, and uh, much more in depth. And those are then get good to be kept and, and share those articles so that people can read them, come to guidance, print them out and understand them inshaAllah. The information is, is free for people. It just requires people to propagate it, send it and to just click, click, click and share, 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 share. Then we come to the understanding when we're sharing the character of people that the shaykh is talking about. Why are people so angry when you post something beautiful, right? Anybody interacting with our TikTok knows, how come when the TikTok goes live for zikr the Muslims are going crazy? and special school of Muslims that go crazy with zik zikr and why are they on TikTok and, get, and getting angry from zikr and then the general audience is saying, hey this sounds so beautific, what is this, is this like a praising, what is this, what are you guys doing? So it again gives us the understanding of the character of people and in the last days whom Allah will guide to His holy remembrance and to the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad Now you saw that everyone is now linking to the Kaaba. Remember we described before two weeks ago that Nabi Musa when he escaped from Pharaoh he entered into Mecca. He didn't escape into Egypt, he escaped into Mecca and Sayyidina Shuaib they say was the caretaker of the Kaaba and their nations were making hajj. They know what the Kaaba is, they were in the region in Yathrib waiting for Sayyidina Muhammad's arrival. Their reality was dark skinned black people. All these haqqaiqs are coming out, why? They realized all of their biblical locations are actually in Saudi Arabia. We described that two weeks ago, now everything started to open. So they understand that whole region is the religion of Allah 
The deen and the deen of Allah is Islam and its region and its realities are all in Hijaz. So for the Jews to understand, Jewish people to understand, well it immediately brings the Christians because the Christians are, are, are nothing but the Jewish people, right? So it brings all the religions to understand, no, no, your origin and all the Prophets of Allah were making tawaf. Now they're starting to talk about Sayyidina Ismail and that his importance and his religion means as we get close to the end the falsehood is dying and the reality of Islam is coming and the reality of the Messenger of Islam is coming and people will remember and retrace their entire origin to that region inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Some even say they have the Orthodox Jewish people, they put the Kaaba on their forehead. Uh-huh. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.